Hi, Matthias back again, curiously wearing the same shirt as last week. This week I'm gonna talk a bit about the pulverizer and some features you might not know about it. With the pulverizer we got a lot of new cool stuff like the compressor and the dirt, but what you might not know is we actually got some new ways to treat CV. By using the envelope follower on the pulverizer we can actually use what's commonly known as a lag processor to smooth some curves out. It's really cool, so let me show you. So I have a Thor patch already set up here. This will be my sound source. I've even recorded a small chord sequence here and it sounds like this. So what I'm going to do now is modulate the filter frequency using a matrix curve. So first I'm going to create a matrix and hold shift so it doesn't auto route. Then I'm going to set this to curve mode and randomize a pattern. I'm going to alter it a little bit too. Now, and here's the fun part, I'm going to route the curve CV from the matrix through the pulverizer's envelope follower. So let's create a pulverizer here, again holding shift so it doesn't auto route, and then flip the rack around. Here I'm going to take the matrix curve CV output to the follower CV input on the pulverizer and turn up the amount. Then I'm going to take the follower output from the pulverizer and take it up to the filter one frequency on the Thor and again turn the amount up. Did you catch all that? Good. So what's happening now is that the matrix curve here is affected by the attack and release of the pulverizer. This smooths out the curve and, uh, much like a portamento on a synth for example, glides between the values in the matrix curve. So I'm going to play this chord sequence back and tweak the attack and release so you can hear how it affects the sound. First I'm just going to take down the filter frequency a bit here so you can hear the modulation. So listen to this. <laughs> Pretty nice, right? This is definitely one of my favorite features in Reason 6. It kind of makes the Matrix a completely new device and gives you a lot of opportunities for CV processing. Try tweaking the resolution of the Matrix or automating the attack and release of the pulverizer for example. You can use it for other CV signals too, something like Thor's Step Sequencer or Maelstrom's LFOs. Experimentation is definitely encouraged. So that's it for now, but I'll be back before you know it with more recent tips. Until next time.